Yo, what's up everyone? Kiros here and uh, got a lot of videos coming your way, but the first video I need to hit you with is your preparation for 2.4. Now, there's not a whole lot of changes that you actually need to go prepare for, but there's a couple of tips and gotchas I need to tell you about and probably a few items you want to go farm for. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the video and I'll be flipping uh, between our global and our CN account to pretty much show you what you need to know. If you guys can't hit that like and subscribe, let's get started. All right, so just so you guys know, if I'm on full screen here, this is our global account. If we are on this screen over here, I am on my CN account. So they look pretty similar because I love this outfit. So let's go ahead and start on the global account. Now there's two big tips I want to give you right away and I'm not sure of at the time I'm making this video. Big tip. One is we are going to get a new raid. So with the new raid, I highly suggest as you go into next week, that you do not use your raid encounters in order to get that new raid. And the one I'm talking about is, let me show you real quick, uh, which by the way, they changed the, ooh, they, I forgot that they changed the raid style in 2.6, but you guys will have a new raid, which is the, the Eva raid. So highly suggest you change it unless you see in the patch notes that they are gonna reset it midway through. So just keep an eye out for the patch notes. Two, as a quick reminder, we are going to have a void uh, avoid abyss reset so make sure that you guys are not using your void rifts next week so you can save the energy we'll have a new reset i've seen some of the enemies that we're going to be fighting and it's going to be pretty hard um, i think i saw gaia at va6 and i saw puppet master at va5 so it's going to be a pretty rough experience but they are adding some additional materials into void abyss um, whether those be the combat engines or the goggles they may be there speaking of other things to save for real quick for everyone here if you've been um doing your space time store and buying the combat engines if you're sitting on any space time crystal fragments i highly suggest you save these for the next week and if this week if you haven't spent any or if you've been saving any so at least you have a week of savings and the reason i say that is because we're gonna go over here to our cn account once again let's go ahead and go into that same space time store and um i cannot 100 percent guarantee but I'm fairly sure, fairly sure that um, some of the goggles are coming to the space time store. Now, I don't think they're going to be 40 fragments. I don't know what they're going to be. There may be somewhere between 40 to 100 fragments, but I highly suggest you save your fragments to get those goggles because goggles have been a complete pain to get. And it's not the most enjoyable experience. Big tip. Oh, speaking of that, while I have you, the biggest tip is, Om is obviously the Omnium Beacons. Now, if you guys aren't aware, in 2.4, Omnium Beacons go away. Now, if you are not maxed out on EXP, I mean that blue bar at the bottom is not maxed out, go use those Omnium Beacons right now. Absolutely right now. Because what's going to happen at 2.4, they are going to essentially remove them from your inventory. They'll give you the items out of them automatically, but they will not give you the EXP. So if you still need EXP and you still are sitting on some of these, make sure that you are using the Omnian beacons to be able to uh, at least maximize on that exp and items that you're getting i don't know why i can't use it here that's cool but uh we'll go ahead and um we'll go ahead and use those somewhere else but that is the big tip make sure you do not have any Omnian beacons in your inventory all right so that brings us to the point that you need to farm you have to be very i would highly suggest you spend this next week farming three different items now you don't have to farm a whole lot of them but one thing I do want to point out is if you do go to this, uh, if we go to the um, uh, research vendor and you don't have to go to the vendor, you will see that there's a new area for the underwater zone. Now on my CN account, I've been very lazy. I haven't done this. I usually just use it for story and playing with new characters and stuff like that. I should really focus on this a little bit more. But the one I do want to point you out to is this middle section. This middle section actually stands for the gray space entities with underwater. And there's not a whole lot of gray space entities underwater. It's mainly fish and whales and a bunch of other things. So there's a couple of these um, locations that are very critical. Let me see if I can find them here real quick. So you can see here that we have gray space fragments that you need to get and you need to use. We also have uh, the crystals that you need as well. And you should have some spines on one of these that you need in spines. And now I only, I know it only says you need five spines, but actually in global, I've been able to put my eyes on it. I can't show you it. You actually need more spines than this. I think it's 10 to 15. And on the gray space ones, it's anywhere, anywhere between 10 to 20 per level as well. So let me go back over real quick. 
So back here on our uh, global account, the items I am specifically talking about are these gray matter chunks. You want to make sure you guys go farm those. And then you want to go farm your gray space spines on top of it. Now, another uh, item I would farm is the Crystal Max Core. So let's talk about each of those real quick. So I would probably try to get anywhere between 200 to 400 of each of these because it's so much easier to get these in the old world than it is to get in the new world, the underwater zone. So I still suggest you go back to the Confounding Abyss and actually farm these. So um, one, the Crystal Max come from Hara. So you don't have to, you can just force open the chest. You don't have to use any ciphers. I suggest you do maybe at least 10 Haras, get 10 of these crystals. So you never have to go get these crystals again, just in case they don't drop from the new world bosses in 2.4. But one of the best, let me show you my two favorite spots to farm. One, let's talk about the gray space uh, um, um, spines. All right, here we are in the third area, the third city. Now, right inside of the middle section where you teleport to, if you go outside this wall, you'll see that there's the G crawlers or whatever they're called. One of my favorite spots to farm is actually right here in this corner. You can sit here with a bunch of zeros and the enemies will eventually target you. And, um, and, and it makes it so everything is really condensed. So I highly suggest you get a team, farm this up for a little bit, and uh, get these crawlers down to the point that you get two to 300 um, of these uh, uh, gray space chunks. Let's, let me show you about the spines real quick. All right, so there's many different places you can AFK farm for spines in uh, the second portion of the Confounding the Best. Now, one of my favorite to do is actually the Blackstone Tower. I've done this many times on stream where you start at the top and you go to the bottom. But that's more of an active role. That's not really an AFK role. One of the ones that I like for AFK, which is pretty decent, is actually the first teleporter. You can see that you only see one of these G Guardians, but there's actually two G Guardians that spawn right here. And you kind of just sit in the middle with your team of zeros and they will always aggro onto you right here in the middle. And so once you get a team, now the problem that with this little area is that they can move you around and it's not quite 100% AFK. There's some other better spots that could happen, but this isn't the worst um, spot uh, for AFK farming, in my opinion. All right, that brings me on to my final little point, which is the suppressor. Now, we've been stuck at level 8 suppressor for a while, but we should see level 9 suppressor. We should see it, quote unquote. But um, the suppressor to level up does take a lot of, of, of Omnium Crystals and a lot of potent Omnium Crystals. So if you have not been buying, if you have not been buying your, um, uh, let me see if I can go here. If you've not been buying your potent Omnium Crystal every week, this is really going to set you back. So, I mean, start buying it right now. You should be buying this every week. There's going to be a couple locations you can get them. And depending on how many you have, you're going to need at least about 20 of those. Now, the ones that are going to throw you back are the ones that come out of the crew store. Now, uh, you are, you're going to need about 25 Omnium Crystals per level. So let me, uh, let me just show that real quick over here. And this is really where I'm getting to that big tip. Now, my suppressor isn't the highest level either on uh, CN, but you can see how on 9.1, and we do get an exoskeleton uh, uh, or a... Um, uh, a in a uh what's the name of this <laughs> why is my main bro it's an exoskeleton ah! uh we do get an exoskeleton for free which is really nice but um the gs score in order to get up here is a little brutal and on cn on cn it's actually easier on cs score so on global i have a feeling it's going to be around 110,000 cs to get up to the final portion but they'll probably be scaling anywhere from 90 to uh 110,000 but it will require 25 Omnium Crystals per go, and it'll take anywhere between three to four of the potent ones. So my big tip that I'm going to say here is that you're going to get these new um, these new uh, uh, Gachapon boxes. And for those Vera coins you've been holding on, I highly suggest that you start on this one right here specifically, because it's going to give you those Omnium Crystals depending on what your CS score is. Now, the other one is going to have some um, red nucleuses in there. And so that that is really up to you if you want to get those red nucleuses. But if you're sitting at a CS score that's 95,000 to 110,000 plus, the most optimal thing you can do, unless you already have been saving them from the crew store, is to start on this one that gets you those crystals to help you out. 
All right, guys, that's all I've got. These are just kind of my mini little tips for 2.4. I've got like five to six more videos coming your way from Red Nucleus videos to some patch previews to the land review and a bunch of others. So make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe, follow along for the channel, and come join us on the Twitch.tv channel where we are playing Tower Fantasy and a lot of other gotcha games as well. I do appreciate you. I'll see you out there. And fist bump from me to you.